now a bit of background information. Meanwhile in the background the same data will run, but this time sorted by ship class and not by date. This will be quite interesting when it comes to the landing crafts. Now you probably noticed that in May 1944 there were quite some ships lost at Pearl Harbor. Also there was at least one ship lost near the Great Lakes. These were not errors, but the results of accidents. Nevertheless, there might be errors in this video. First off, I took the data mainly from Wikipedia, due to the sheer amount of data and formatting required. Second, the data is incomplete. I removed the Miss Angeles district crafts, because those were around 150 units and the data on them is sparse, meaning most of them were lost at one location on the same day, which looks rather boring. Third, for some ships the data was rather imprecise, like off France or off Iceland. In such cases I often choose the English channel or use the location and adapted the coordinates manually to be located within the sea and not the landmass. Fourth, one of the sources used by Wikipedia states that the dates are those of the effective loss, which means the date or attack which resulted in the loss, rather than that of the actual sinking. Fifth, I'm rather unhappy with the Eurocentric map in this case, but my attempts to solve this issue were so far unsuccessful. This video was possible due to my various Patreons, because I can spend more time on projects now that might take longer or are not directly produce a video. After all, the idea for using various more in-depth tools goes back to January 2016. So a big thank you to all my Patreons, remember every single dollar helps. Now unlike to my usual videos, not all sources are listed in the description. The main source is listed in the description, but since I had to look up the latitude and longitude of more than 100 places manually and add them to the data, I didn't add every link. Of course the software tools and programming language are linked in the description, as is the music. So thank you for watching and see you next time.